Previously on Who Loves Quincy. Yeah, like, I, I really gotta be feeling it. That's the, that's the main thing, because I, I was just feeling like the girl just wasn't into me. Um, next question. If you don't mind me asking, do you have any plans? Like, what's something different that you're really pushing? I do have one thing in mind that I'm planning. Hello? Hey, what's good, my boy? I'm so glad you answered. So, yeah, I was calling you because about the text message that I sent you, and I just wanted to call to finish it up. You know, I just see this man walking up to the door. It's kind of late, and it don't really look like Quincy. It's just perfect to have you host for my next challenge. Just let me know when and where I need to go. Thanks so much for meeting me out here. I know I came super early and unexpected, but it was Quincy's wishes. I'll know some of you- I know Quincy is not here, but this man is too fine. One more thing that's very important that you should know. Tonight is also elimination. So, can you guys actually believe that Quincy is really not here? Like, I, I was expecting him to come back, you know? And then all of a sudden, a tornis crane comes, and then represented with a challenge. Well, I think that we all should just stay focused on the challenge and elimination. I don't know about y'all, but I will definitely be bringing my A-game. This next challenge, y'all better be prepared for it. I know what this is about he's gonna make us fight and i'm just here to say that i'm so ready for this this is my moment i'm literally going to beat every single one and i'm gonna win the date and it's gonna be me and quincy forever i hope you all got your laces tied you're strong and brought the right attitude okay cassie seems really strong but i can be stronger at times and I really like Quincy, and I enjoyed our company, so I'm gonna give him my all. Come on, Nova. You got this, Nova. Cassie, yeah! You know, Nova is bringing it, but she's not bringing enough, to be honest. Yeah, what? you can Nova? do this, Nova. I believe in no. you. I'm seriously about to beat this bitch up. Oh my god, somebody shut security, the fight. Security, security, let's get security. Cut the cameras. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another sit-down with Who Loves Quincy. I'm your host, Rihanna Sims, here presenting with a special guest. She was once part of the show, but had to leave for a family emergency. Now Quincy is back, but why didn't she get a call back? Let's find out right after this break. All I, need is you. All I, need. I have with me a well-rounded woman who stood her ground when it came to Quincy. She gave it her all and wanted to be the one. Ladies and gentlemen, Kim Strickland. So Kim, please enlighten us. What happened? Like we know you had to leave and while you were gone, Quincy was gone, but he's back now. So did he like forget about you? So I'm gonna say this, okay? Quincy did not forget about me. He just didn't want me there anymore. Mm, okay, so can you elaborate a little bit more on it? Cause I'm just trying to get a better understanding. That's all. Since y'all went tea, I'ma spill it. I seen the newest episode when he came back. He said he didn't think none of the girls were there for him during the show, so that's why he left. Before I had to leave, I explained to him how I was sorry for leaving and that I would be missing him. But I had to put my family first because family is very important to me. I haven't even been on a date with Quincy to like really, really make my judgment of I'ma go all in. He said that he understood and then he told me that he was going to be leaving because, again, he felt like none of the girls were there for him. And he said, well, if you do come back, let me know. I, could, I, I would still like to have a chance and to make it up to you. And now that the show is back, he didn't even think twice to call you. So how does that make you feel? I mean, look, I see why kind of he felt like nobody was there for him, but it just doesn't make any sense. You called everyone else back but me with no explanation. It's kind of my stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I would have loved to come back. You know what? All tea, all shade. But Candace has no business being there. All she ever do is have an attitude. And Dylan's ditzy ass, please. You really think that's a good match? 
And everyone know Cassie is there to just buck on him, every now and then. It's giving very much horror activity. Nova and Melody seem really down to earth, I like them both actually. And my Asia might have potential. I'm pretty cool with her too, but she seems a bit feisty like gotta work extra hard to get her. And then there's Wendy. Do I need to say much about her? I mean, it's in her name. So if anything, Quincy could have brought me back. He didn't even give me a chance, and I just feel played, to be honest. Yeah, I can definitely see why you feel that way in this situation. I think there's just a big line of miscommunication somewhere. No, not at all. He heard what I said and understood it very well. Okay, well, we do have a voice recording of Quincy apologizing to you, and we have that ready to play whenever you're ready to hear it. I guess. Play the voicemail, please. Hey, Kim. So, um, I want to apologize for not giving you a chance and bringing you back on the show. I remember you telling me to call you if I decided to bring the show back, but I just felt like your family meant more to you. So, I figured you just didn't really care. I can honestly say that I kind of forgot, but once I remembered, I just didn't call because I thought you would die, you know. Though. I hope you can forgive me, and I wish you well. So what do you have to say about that? How do you feel about that voicemail, Kim? Honestly, it's a big fuck you from me. That was a bullshit-ass apology, and everything else I have to say will be saved and stored till the reunion, if he decides to have one. Thank you for having me. Well, that's all, folks. You have heard it here, live, and real on the sit down with Who Loved Quincy starring Kim Strickland. Thank you, Kim, for coming today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the next episode of Who Loves Quincy. Enjoy, everyone. All I need is you. All I need is you. Yeah, like all I need is you. Baby, we can rendezvous. Baby, all I need. Yeah, I'll be honest, you don't think I get my nine It's dishonest to say that I've been feeling alive And I know ya, staying up and out of the chance And you got Peter up, the goku chani nan koji man Now I'm strong, running through my head Ni up here, my day draw She got up the go hard, think I gotta go You ain't even gotta tell me twice Or you crazy, funny how you in my life Good day, he's in, kungu maji ana hoodie me there Think about her, strip down, who they ease it Driving on the wrong side, down on the freeway Frequent trips and frequently key day Who they cut down, chon chon da, him me do don't yeah. think about our brothers all john john cause y'all jingles i know i know i told you we could be there one two three, i ain't never planned it yeah. you left like that like that it's a meal who is out and staying up at night it's a boy yeah. yeah i don't really miss you True. talking like we're friends oh she not talking like a game but you're not even playing not you're like how you might hit him boy young i don't really need you yeah. all i need is you You know, I actually want to be a celebrity. And to start, I gotta introduce myself to others, duh. It's just so funny how money thinks we're not peeping. What's she doing? Like, girl, we see you. I'm really surprised she's even still here. I thought Quincy would have peeped it. You know, I'm just trying to call Quincy because it's been a minute since we've seen him, since I've seen him, since I've heard his voice. Like, I just want to call him to see what he's doing and tell him that I miss him and that he needs to hurry up and come back. Like, we're all here waiting for him. Hello? At the tone, please record your message. Thank Quincy. It's Candace. Just calling to check on you and let you know that I'd miss you and stuff like that and let you know that you left me here with all these crazies. Like, when are you coming back? I miss you like crazy. Call me back. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Rihanna Sims, and I am back with another video. 
First things first, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and turn on the bell to get notified of all new, woo, new videos so you don't miss out. Obviously, duh. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So what is up, Bookies? I'm back with Who Loves Quincy? Who Loves Quincy? All I need is you, babe. All I need is you. Yeah. Okay. We're back with Who Loves Quincy. It's been a long time coming because last time y'all seen it, y'all saw that Nova and Cassie were fighting. They was getting to it. Well, yes. Um, I added like a little bit of the recap of what happened and who came. We got my boy Adonis and unveiled it. Ooh. That man's on fire. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we're here finishing out the boxing. I literally put these girls on like a spin wheelie thing because I didn't know who should go against who. So I just put their name on a spin wheelie thing and Money and Candace came up to go fight after each other. So maybe that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to get out of time mode. I got everybody sitting down and we're going to have a fight. Now I do got extreme violence in my game. So we might be using some extreme violence. <laughs> I don't know, boo. But somebody gotta win. So I am not one of those girlies that like to fight. Like, why do we gotta do this, Quincy? Just so that you can know who's really here for you. Come on, man. Are you serious? Like, look at my face. If I want to be a celebrity, I cannot get my face ugly or be up. Let me see. Are they beefing already? Like, are they beefed up? Let me see. Oh, they do got a little bit of beef. They do got a little bit of beef. Let's go ahead and start, like, let's go ahead and start. Let's accuse her of spying. Yeah, because cause money, she be kind of sneaky sometimes. Y'all y'all know. If y'all watch this, y'all know. Even though Candace is a little sneaky, especially that phone call. Yeah, Miss Mamas, you thought she was doing something. Oh, money like, girl, where y'all going? Hello? Bring it on, Bookie, because you already know. She is about to get her ass beat, okay? Like, this finna be a... Please, this was easy. Thank you for picking us two to go together, okay? And then I'm gonna have Money do some trash talking as well. Let's go ahead and shove her. Be like, who you think you talking to? You're not talking to me like that. Like, we're on a boxing match, but... Oh, okay, I guess you're getting serious. Like, what's up? Yeah, you better walk off. Come back over here, Candace. Yeah, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Yeah, we can fight. She like, okay, come on, girl. Come on in. Oh, oh, oh. At the end of the day, it's a competition, baby. Yes. Uh oh, look at them. They like, damn. Well, about y'all, but I got my money on money, okay? Like, she look like she's whooping at ass, okay? Okay, money got her to choke <laughs> Damn, money be her up. Oh, I can't believe that. Not you feeling hurt by money. Y'all was already beefing. I'm really shocked that money really beat up Candace. Like, that is really surprising. I, I thought Candace would have got that because she talks the most shit. So I thought she could have backed it up, honestly. Girl, go sit down. Okay, let me spin my wheel again to see who's going to be fighting next. Okay, so we got Dylan. Ooh, Dylan and my Asia. Okay. So let's go. Oh, look, and they talking. They getting along. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You know, I really like my Asia, and I would seriously hate for this fight to come in between us. Like... That would be one crazy thing, you know, really sad too. But you know, I gotta, I gotta root for myself. So go me, go. Let's go. Not Beyonce outside, girl. Go, go out somewhere. All right. So since, uh, girl, we're gonna use extreme violence with them because their relationship is good. Like, yeah. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Dylan try to do something. Perform Taekwondo. If she can do it, then my Asia, we definitely gonna have you beat her up next. For sure. Oh! 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 Oh, snaps! Everyone's like, Dylan! 
Dylan! Hold up, Dylan just came here full throttle, okay? She did not come here to lose. You know what she was doing. Oh! Damn, how long? Uh, how long? This is sick! Damn! Not by Asia scared! <laughs> Oh my god, look at her face. Oh! It is just boxing. It is never that serious, like at all. I didn't even expect this out of Dylan, but since this is how we go in, I'm gonna play too. She better watch out. Oh! We are not going out like that, Myasia. Beat her ass. And if she can't, then my Myasia lost this one. But ain't no way. Ain't no way. Y'all, Dylan has been in the gym, so... What? Oh! 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 <laughs> Not y'all getting mad. Dylan just beat her up. What you mean? Yo, these girls are mad funny. Like, did Dylan not expect for her to come back with it? Oh! Oh my god. Now look at Dylan. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> This is sick. Okay, I guess that's fair. We're even now, but this isn't about getting even. This is about winning, and we still need a winner. Go ahead, fight, fight, fight. Oh. This ceiling, bro. Damn. Who y'all think gonna win this? Oh, my Asia, what? Oh, snaps, do do. I'm sorry, baby, you lost. You guys took this one out. Damn, everyone in this house is gonna be beefed up. And just like that, I so won. Never back down, never give up. And that's exactly what I did. And that's why she lost. This is crazy. They gotta sit here looking like this. She like, yeah, don't try me next time. They both gonna be sitting on the sidelines looking farked up. <laughs> Look at how she walking. But uh-uh. Not money talk about some violence is never the answer. Please, get out of here, money. We know it's your bougie ass. Do they not see what's going on here? Like Quincy is literally having us go against each other like we're all going to hate each other. And that's what he wants. This is crazy. We should not be fighting. Violence is never the answer. This is not okay. So I just realized there's not enough girls to do teams. And Melody was the last one, but she doesn't have a match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Nova and Cassie fight it out. Um, since we didn't get to see them, like, officially fight. And then I'm going to have Melody basically just fight the winners. So since Kim is no longer here, there is nobody that I can fight with. But um, I guess we came up with the idea to have me fight whoever that winner is. So that's what's going to happen. I'm not nervous. I'm not scared. I got this. I know I do. And it's just a game. And I know I'm not going home, so I'm not worried. <laughs> okay, come on, Nova. I'm rooting for you, girl. I'm rooting. Come on, girl. Oh, he root for Cassie, y'all. That's sick. That is sick. Oh, and Nova won. Period. Yes, Nova. That's because Nova be in that gym. Okay, Nova be in that gym. I'm not playing with y'all. Nova and Dylan, every single time we load up into the house, like, they're in the gym working out. Okay, I'm gonna have Melody, uh, poor Melody and Nova, because they're like, oh, wait, I thought they were good friends. Not they beefed up. Melody, come on up here, Miss Mamas, and let's come and fight Nova, even though I know Nova's gonna win this. Nova, Nova's gonna win this fight. Man, Cassie really happy on my toes, I'm not gonna lie, but I came back stronger than ever, for sure. And now, it's me and Melody. And I feel really bad about this because I really enjoy Melody's company. Like, I like her, and I really hate for this to, you know, come in between us. I just know, because she be in the gym. She don't be playing. Nova, get back over here, girl. 
Oh god. This sucks because like everyone's going against each other now. Like it's really about to be intense. Everyone's gonna be beefed up. Snaps. Who y'all think got this? If Melody wins this, that's gonna be crazy. Oh, see, told you, I told you all. Oh my God. Melody, baby, come sit it down. You know, it's all right, it's okay. I did the best that I could. It's no beef or nothing like that between me and Nova because I still really like her, love her aura and everything. So it's, it's not cool, you know, a win is a win. All right, I'm gonna have Nova basically fight everyone else and yeah so if her next person wins that fight nova is gonna have to sit it out and then that person's gonna have to go against the winners okay so she needs to go against money and dylan all right now nah. all right money come up here girl all right let's see who gonna win this one huh i i still think nova got this because money is too bougie she's a pretty girl like yeah <laughs> this is crazy <clears throat> it's Cassie vibing out over here, even though she like lost the fight. Like I'm screaming. She beat her up. Oh, but Nova is not playing, y'all. <laughs> Miss Nova, look at the look at the look on her face. Okay, after that whole shebang with Cassie, like she like, maybe I'm not dealing with none of this. Like she finna beat everybody sass. Okay, so now we gonna have Dylan come up here. Um, uh, we're gonna do extreme violence with this one. I don't know what a slapjack is, but we're gonna do this today. Oh, snaps. Let's see if she even can. Because they both be working out. Oh, she missed! She missed! Nova's like, really? Really, Dylan? I thought we were cool, you know? Ooh, it's the death stare for me. Oh! Oh, she snatched her wig! She snatched her wig! Oh, nah, cause Dylan ain't going out like that. No, Dylan. Nah, we fighting. We are fighting. I not believe she really just pulled my hair like that. I, why are we fighting like this? Oh my God, Nova, like I really thought we were cool, you know, and I, I don't want there to be no beef or anything like that. Like, I really like that girl. She's really cool down to earth. And we've, our our friendship has, you know, grown. And we've pre created a bond and stuff like that. So, this is crazy. But I guess well deserves, you know. Dylan is like, I'm not getting beat up twice. No. <laughs> it might just be coincidence, but Nova can't shake the feeling that others are just constantly judging her. Is it her hair, personality, friends, whatever it is? Nova is afraid that this won't be the end of it. Oh. She beat her up. No, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan! Dylan's not backing down, baby. She's not backing down. Nope. She's not. Oh! Nova! You let her beat you up! So the only reason why I let her beat me up is because I see it in her. Like, she, she's fighting. She's never had a date with Quincy. And I can tell that she kind of wants it. So, I let her have it. You know, give her what she wants. Oh, stop. Dylan is mad. Dylan. <gasps> ah, no, no. No, no. Everyone's like, damn. <laughs> Look, at now she's like nervous and scared. Nah. Nova's like, nah, <laughs> because what? What do you mean? Nova and Tillin are going at it like cats and dogs. Like, this is crazy. Everybody's got the black eye today. Like, this is sick. Dylan's not giving up. Okay, like, girl. Oh, my God, this is crazy and hilarious at the same time. That is crazy. I'm going to have them fight. But we're going to say Dylan won this one. <laughs> She's like, Dylan, I can't believe that you would do that. 
This is crazy! Everyone like, oh my god. Let's see if Dylan still beat her up. Let's see. Ladies, ladies! Oh no, she beat her up, but we gonna get this to Dylan, y'all. We gonna say Dylan won, cause yeah, we just gonna get this to her. All right. Oh, her black eye is gone. Yay. Yeah, y'all beefed up. Everybody, okay, everybody needs to calm down. Everybody need to calm down. Like, what, what is going on? Like, everyone needs to just come back as friends. They need to get together and, you know, like, be friends again. You all have done amazing. And I can't wait to tell Quincy the experience and how well you all did. Um, you guys understand it the assignment and got shit done for real so i will leave quincy a great report about everything and i know some of you guys made a might have came out with black eyes bruises and all of that and i apologize but y'all did not have to go that hard on each other but it just shows you know your loyalty and where it stands with you know quincy and everything and so i'm pretty sure he will greatly appreciate all of that and the ambition and everything um, so this is the end of the competition and, um, I hope you ladies had a great time. Hope you all can, you know, mend what's broken and become one again. Um, and I'll meet y'all back at the house for elimination. Oh, and congratulations to Dylan for winning the game today. You know, no, but that was very team sport of you to give the winnings to her. I will make sure Quincy knows of that as well. So, yep, I'll see y'all ladies in a little bit. Brankavint, Fina Ifel Im. In Bali, Swabarani Bayou, Squarmish. Move to this competition, everybody is just on edge and uptight. Okay, everyone's arguing with everybody at this moment. My Asia's argue with Candace and Nova. I'm arguing with my Asia. Money's getting pissed off, you know, just saying shit like, it's really bad, the tension is real real bad and crazy, like, that's why I had to come at my age like, sis, calm down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh. Okay, y'all, so we are back at the crib, as you can see, we got the girls back, and they just, they beefed up, y'all, like... They're just arguing. Everybody is mad at each other. Okay, Quincy still is not still is not here. Quincy is going to come during elimination. So I forgot. I'm going to bring Adonis here because he's here for the time being. Um, and we're also going to be doing elimination tonight, y'all. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And they're all just reading the note that he has here about elimination and stuff like that. So. See, look, they beefing. My Asia, no, <laughs> everybody's beefed up, arguing every second. Like, uh, try going to the gym. Maybe that will calm you down. That's crazy. <laughs> the reason why I'm just really kind of pissed off because on our way here, everybody was just bickering and arguing with each other on the way here from the freaking competition. And it was just my Asia's tone for me. Like, she kept trying to tell me how I shouldn't have gave up the winnings to Dylan and all of this and that and like I'm just like didn't you lose like why are you why are you so concerned about it oh no no we have 24 hours to pay the bills let me have Quincy pay that Quincy is here but he's not here yeah okay I got him locked up in the room Woo, one hundred and four thousand dollars is sick that's really sick oh Nova finna go blow off some steam yep so yeah look she always in the gym but yeah, I'm going to have the girls basically get ready for this um, elimination, okay? Because, yeah, we're going to have it right outside like how we normally do, okay? And they're going to see Quincy for the first time in a while. And the girls, they want to look their best. They want to look bomb. So, yeah, that's what we finna do. So let's get ready for elimination, y'all. <laughs> Uh 
Welcome to Elimination. I know you guys are all pretty much used to this moment. You all look very beautiful and smell amazing, and I'm sure Quincy is looking forward to seeing you all beautiful ladies again. Quincy is here. He's coming for Elimination. I'm not the one that's going to be doing the Elimination, unfortunately. It was a pleasure hanging out with you guys, but this is where it ends with me and you. I have spoke to Quincy about the boxing match that happened and he's very impressed with everybody, to be honest. So give yourself a pat on the back, because you all did amazing. So, without further ado everybody, here is Quincy. First I just want to say everyone looks stunning tonight. Like, really, I am blown away, and I'm also just very- You cannot believe I'm looking at Quincy's face right now. Like, I'm actually really excited. This makes me happy. And I'm just, I'm eager to see that he's back. Like, finally. Very happy to see all you guys' faces again. Second, I do want to apologize for me just up and leaving you all like that. Um, I just felt like nobody was really there for me, but- after this last boxing competition, um, Adonis told me everything that went down and who had good sportsmanship and all of that, and I am very impressed and proud of all of you, especially Dylan. Congratulations, like, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I was just happy to hear that you guys are actually here for me and- Well, if it isn't Mr. Quincy Jones. It's about damn time that he showed up because I missed you. And it's really great to have you back and I'm happy to be back, honestly. I don't I wish he would have just like talked to us, you know, one oh one to see if we're really here for him instead of just leaving. But I get it, you know, I get why he would do that. But I am happy he's back and he looks damn good. You're fighting because you guys could have left, honestly. When I left you could have left or you could have just I don't know, you could have left the boxing match and everything. So, I greatly appreciate everybody's, you know, contribution towards all of this and showing up and showing out. Um, I do want to ask, does anybody have any questions before we get started? I'm excited, I guess, and happy to see Quincy, and he looks amazing, honestly. Um, but I am still kind of just upset that he just up and left us, and... Especially after our date, you know, because you got some bitches in here that's trying to say that it's funny how he felt this way after our date. <laughs> Candace. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. And I am going to have a conversation with Quincy because it just, it was kind of messed up that you just left us, you know? Not a question, but um, just want to say I'm happy to see you. I'm pretty sure we all are. And you look amazing. Thank you, Dylan. I really appreciate that. And you look stunning yourself. Um, so without further ado, let's get into elimination. So the first girl that I will be giving a rose to came with integrity and ambition since the first start of the show. And I'm very honored. Dylan, come and get your rose. Yes. Robefina. Ah, the dish. Hey. Uh -huh. Boy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. I got the purse of rose. Oh my gosh, yes. And I can't wait for a date either. It's going to be a blast. The next girl that I'm going to give a rose to actually has a special place in my heart no matter what. Um, From time on since like the beginning, I've noticed that she's just very loyal and down to earth. A special place in his heart. Oh, I know that's me. Quincy, just go ahead and say my name, okay? Because I know it's me. Definitely, for sure. And also, she felt great sportsmanship and, you know, just seems very caring. Yeah, Nova, come and get this ropes. Special place in your heart. Quincy, what are you even saying right now? Because you might as well end the show and pick Nova. Why would you say that in front of all of us? 
that just makes no sense. You've been fucking up real bad, Quincy. Like, I love you, boo, but it just, I, I don't get that. And, and I just feel like this is about to be one of those moments where I'm about to be the last man standing as well. Like, this, this is why I'm just so annoyed. Okay, so the next girl that I'm picking, she had a rough start, you know, at the beginning, but she fought through, stood her ground, and I admire her the most because of that. And um, she stayed, and it shows loyalty. He also has a killer accent as well. So, Miss Melody, come and get your rose. <laughs> this girl has showed so much love and compassion, I don't even know how to handle it for real. Like a play, gotta take that all in. Cassie, oh, yeah, come yeah, and get this rose. Uma Kimba. Oh, Shima. <laughs> It was, I mean, the last time, but it is now, so I'm gonna soak up this moment. You know, there's always like that one slut that's on a love show, and that happens to be Cassie. Like, ma'am, you did not have to kiss him, put your tongue all down his throat like that, right in front of us. You could have saved that for another time, another day. We just, we didn't need to see that. Like, we get it, sis. We get it, he's yours. My Aza, come and get your rose now. Yeah, cause I was about to say, you weren't calling me, I was about to cuss you out. Now down to the last final two. This is always the hard part for me. I don't enjoy this part at all, cause that just means when you go home. And I just feel really bad about it, cause I don't want nobody being sad or nothing like that you know it just didn't work out that's all you both have done your best but unfortunately i can only pick one so the winner for tonight is candace come and get your rose i'm not gonna lie i was so scared yeah i thought i was really gonna go home because i'm always in the bottom two it just seems like i am but then I looked over and seen that it was money next to me. And then I thought about all of the weird things that she's done and how she's really shown that she's not really here for Quincy. So I'm like, nah, I got a better chance. She about to go home. So yes, y'all are still going to be seeing my face. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Thank you, money, for your time being here. But unfortunately, it has came to an end. Um, it was nice having you on the show. And I hope you enjoyed your time. You're more than welcome to have anything to say. Well, you're not wrong, okay, Quincy? Like, you're being smart about this, and I love that for you, because I just feel like this really isn't for me anymore. It's just, it's not giving, and it's it's not me. But I enjoyed my time, and I thank you, like, for everything and the opportunity, so. And that's not the only reason, either. Adonis had told me everything that went down between you and him and how you've been flirting with him and I just don't appreciate that because that's like a slap in my face and not only that you were doing that behind my back thinking that I wouldn't know so it's just a bit unprofessional and it's just giving you're wasting my time and all you want is camera time so because of that that's why you're leaving and I picked Candace over you so I hope you enjoy your time and again thank you for everything you can go ahead and pack your bags and get going your time has ended. I'm really glad that I made the decision to send money home because if he just played with me for real, all along this whole time, she's just been playing, just want to be on camera, want to be famous, flirting with Adonis, like you were never really here for me. I knew my feelings were real. I, I stand on that for real. Some of these girls are just not here for me. And that really showed it. Like, I'm glad we got the bad seat out the way. I hope you guys don't think that I'm sad because I'm going to tell you that I am not. If anything, I am very glad that I'm going home, going back to my nice place with my nice things. And yeah, I'm just going to meet other men. Quincy's not the only dude on this earth. Okay, there's plenty of fish in the sea for me and it's not Quincy. That's why I wasn't really giving my all 
And not only that, the date that we had, like, it was cute, but it really wasn't all that. It wasn't up to my standards, to be honest. So we really don't care. I am ready to go. Bye, everyone. On the next Who Loves Quincy. I never rode no horse a day in my life. Like, I really enjoy that Dylan's showing me new things, but I, I don't know about this. This seems really scary. This thing is big and huge. I cannot believe Quincy did all this for me. Like, oh my god, I feel so special. It really feels like I'm back at home on the farm for real. I cannot wait to tell my Aunt Luann about this. Hola.